Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Super Mario RPG playthrough for the Nintendo Switch. Last time we found the fourth star piece at Star Hill, and we also investigated Seaside Town, which is uh, currently going through some very, very odd situations. The people there are kind of creepy. But at the very least, they did give us some insight and some intel. And apparently there is a star that's in the uh, sunken pirate ship. So we're going to head on down to the sea and see what we can find. So let's get going. So the sea is actually a very, very short area. We're not going to be here for very long. Uh, first and foremost, we have a shaman here. Uh, this is another shop. And uh, if you haven't bought uh, the super hammer yet, you can actually buy it here. Um, like I said, the masher is infinitely better. But I'm going to go ahead and buy it just to showcase it. And uh, I'm also going to buy the Hurley Glove, which is an upgrade for Bowser. And it's actually a pretty uh, funny upgrade. It's probably one of Bowser's most hilarious weapons, if I'm being honest. So we'll go ahead and buy that. And uh, you can also buy some new armor for all of your characters except Bowser. I don't know why they didn't give Bowser any um, equipment here or armor here. But they decided to bypass that. At least for right now anyway. So I got my characters equipped. You can also buy a lot of the standard items here too if you need them. Uh, let me go ahead and I'm actually going to sell something too, but since you shopped here, I'll tell you this. The ship sank into the briny sea because a giant squid attacked it. Some people went to survey it, but they never came back. Okay, well, really quickly, let me sell some of this stuff. Um, <clears throat> that's weird that you can't sell any of your, like, weapons here, though. I mean, not that I'm complaining, but it is kind of weird, I guess. Okay, so we have some new um, equipment. Um, over here you have a save point, I believe. You can see some treasures in the background, but we'll get them later. Uh, for now, we're going to continue to press on. Now, in this room right here, um, be careful of these starfish, because these are actually enemies. And you don't want to actually touch them because we have a Starman right here. And uh, very quickly, can I... Okay, no. I'm trying to remember how you're supposed to do this. I think you just want to like just kind of like grab the star and get everything on the ground, then go to the top, then jump back down. But uh, let's see if we can destroy as many of these guys as we can. And you can go in here and get a few more. I think we only got three level ups. Or maybe we got one for the whole party. I don't know for sure. But I believe we're actually going to learn some new moves here too. So at level 10, Mario will learn Super Fireball, which is basically a more powerful version of the Fireball. Um, as far as, I believe we just want to go with health. So I think we're going to pick health for everybody here. Mallow also reaches level 10, and he's going to learn the move Shocker, which is another lightning-based attack, but this one only attacks one enemy, but it's also really powerful, so it's a really, really good move. And once again, we're going to go with HP. <clears throat> Gino is going to get to level 10. I don't think he learns a move. No, I think he learns his move at like either level 11 or 12, so we'll uh, take a look at that later. Oh, looks like everybody's going to level up. So Bowser reaches level 10. He is uh, also not going to learn anything. Once again, I think his next level is either 11 or 12. And Peach also reaches level 10. And she's got a little bit for her next move, too. So let's go ahead. Peach actually gets a lot of HP for her HP level ups, I've noticed. Which is probably good, because she starts at 50. So she's very, very weak and frail at the very beginning, but hey, at least she, you know, is getting some work done now. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and um, for now I'm going to actually... Actually, we have the uh, triple move set up already. I forgot about that. But first, let's uh, go in here. Let's get the items in here. You just get a mushroom, a flower, and a frog coin. And we're going to go back down. And let's actually fight some of these uh, enemies here. So let's go ahead and do uh, the triple move for Gino and Peach. Which, uh, this move is Spare Us All. A Shining Veil protects the whole party from any one attack. So this is basically just a emergency defensive maneuver, I guess. Honestly, this is probably the worst triple move, in my opinion. Because, I mean, it's cool that you can, you know, protect yourself from damage in, like, a very dangerous boss fight that could be very helpful. But, um... In a fight like this, it's, you know, really, really not that useful. But I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Mallow. And look, if we switch out to Mallow, we don't even have that boost for Mallow anymore. But here we have the, I believe these are called uh, Zeo Stars. Uh, can you believe I get confused with those no-good star slaps? It's kind of funny, because I think both of those enemies actually reference each other. Which is kind of neat. Uh, but yeah, there's the super hammer. The super hammer is, again, it's just like the regular hammer. Mario just whips it sideways instead. And that's basically all it does. I, I think the masher is superior. It does more damage. And yeah, the range is a problem, but I don't think it's that much of a problem, personally. So we'll go ahead and keep Mario with the super hammer. Um, as far as, uh, we still need to see Bowser and Peach... But I'm going to put just Bowser in for right now. Because uh, we still have some uh, Thought Peaks we can do. So we're going to do that. Uh, looks like we have a Blooper, which is a new enemy. They're weak to Fire and Lightning. I need to go spray my dishes. Well, hey, good uh, dish cleaning etiquette is always appreciated. And as far as Bowser's new uh, move, this is Bowser's new, where he basically just picks up and throws Mario at the enemy, which I think is freaking hilarious. That's like. Again, one of the coolest weapons that Bowser can get. Not his strongest by any means, but still, it's, it's still pretty good. Man, I messed up the timing there. Okay, so there we go. We can uh, double our EXP. Let's go ahead and do it. We did just get a level, so it'll be a while till we get another level up. So we may as well get a good start on that at the very least. And yeah, let us uh, progress into the next room. In this room, if you jump into the water pool, or water whirlpool, not water pool, um, you can go all the way in this little underground cave. And then you can come up here where you can find a very rare but always nice max mushroom. Which max mushrooms basically heal full HP, so... They're really, really good, and we'll probably uh, not see those in shops for a little while, but still. It's always good to find them. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can find the last enemy. Well, that's not the last enemy that I was thinking of, but that is another enemy we have to find. We have another uh, recolor of the uh, Gobi enemies from Pipe... Or, not Pipe Vault, from Karo Sewers. Flute flop, don't get caught. Yeah, a lot of these enemies are actually not that strong, believe it or not. I don't know if we're just like at the point of the game where, like, you know, our strength starts to kind of skyrocket, but it's honestly like. You know, pretty easy to take out a majority of these enemies. Ah, damn it. Well, 
Rip. I really thought the thing was trying to fool me there. I, th I thought it was the left one, but I'm like, wait, it did like a weird maneuver. Maybe it's the middle one, and then nope, ended up being wrong. Oh, well, it happens. Unfortunately, still not getting that other enemy. I think we have another chance to find it inside the ship. But if not, we'll have to come back later for it. Man, this blooper is being very evasive. There we go. And of course it runs away, too. Has to be like that. Okay. Um, are there any other bloopers around here? Nope. Okay. Well, I think we can continue on now. So let's head into the sunken ship, which when I was a kid, this was a very big wall for me uh, because this area can be very, very dangerous. There's a page from the travel log. Let's take a look at it. <clears throat> We're done for. A giant squid just got a hold of us. The ship's going down fast. Well, that's not good. We've managed to trap the giant squid in the treasure cellar. The treasure will sink with the ship, but so it goes. And we have some uh, new enemies here as well, which we'll fight them shortly. Let's see. The door to the cellar is locked with a six-letter password. To get inside, you'll have to figure out the password using the six hints. Let's go ahead and fight some of these guys. So here we have Greepers. Greeper enemies are ghost enemies, so pure waters will work against them. And of course, they're also weak to lightning as well. Can I have just a tiny bit of your soul? Just a tiny bit, okay? I don't wanna I don't wanna give you too much of my soul. Because I might need it for other things later on. But sure you can have a tiny bit of the soul. And, okay, here's another enemy, too. Um, let's go ahead and Thought Peak them. And, of course, I missed it. Okay, defend, defend. Try again. Whenever I reach out my hand, there you are. Well, that's kind of kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. It is what it is, though. Let's go ahead and use thunderbolts. It is nice knowing that like a lot of the enemies here are weak to lightning though, because Mallow actually becomes infinitely a great a great partner to bring with you to this area because of that. Um let's actually do this fight before we Oh actually there's another new enemy here. We have a straw head, which is another um upgraded enemy from the uh Karo sewers. The hop goblins. More and more, I've been thinking about returning to the soil. That is very, very deep, as usual. See, all these enemies go down really fast, so you don't even need pure waters to make quick work of these guys. Um, here we have another new enemy. We have the Dry Bones. Dry Bones are interesting because um, they actually cannot be harmed by physical attacks. You can only use magic attacks. However, 
as soon as they get hit by a magic attack, they're dead. So they're very, very weak. Put me together, I fall apart. Always leave them wanting more. So yeah, you can just do any attack. You don't even need to time it. Any special attack will do. And just for fun, as much overkill as this is, let's go ahead and see what Shocker is. Getting the timing for that can actually be kind of difficult because um, I feel like there's at least a sound cue that's better utilized in the original game. Here, I think it's a little harder to actually manage, but it is definitely something you can use. Uh, let's go ahead and find another one of these guys because, well, okay, I didn't intend to be just a single one, but let's go ahead and knock these guys down anyway. Also, another thing about dry bones is uh, when you knock them down, they can get back up, so they'll never be removed from the field of battle. So keep that in mind. Uh, so once again, we have another uh, recolor enemy. Oh, we have actually two of them. We have the Alley Rat and the Enigmax. So let's, I guess, keep thought peeking. Damn it. Now it's about dead, too. Okay, uh, I might actually switch out for Peach right here. Just so I can... <clears throat> yeah, get everybody back to health. There we go. What's that big Mario guy doing looking a little old me? Ah, it's a pirate rat. I get it. <laughs> That's kind of silly. This game definitely excels in its silliness. That's for sure. Okay, so we still have to get these guys. Okay, so the Enigmax. Group up? Yeah, right. Can we go home yet? I'm hungry. Okay, I figured that guy would run away. Okay, I think we can stop fighting enemies for now because we've uh, fought a lot and I think we got all the tattle logs, at least for right now. I could actually check that really quick before we do anything. <clears throat> okay, apparently we're missing two things from the ocean. Or the sea. But we got everything from Star Hill at the very least. Oh, well, I can definitely go back and check that out later. That shouldn't be a problem. There is one enemy I know that we have to look at, but I can't think of the other one. So, again, we'll have to just find that out later, I guess. Okay, so this area right here, uh, this is where you'll actually find all of the hints for the password they were talking about earlier. Um, but very quickly, let's uh, switch party. Put Bowser in over Mallow. And let's actually uh, have some fun. And we'll actually take a look at the uh, triple move for these three. We have the Starry Shell Spike. A spinning shell charged with star power hits all enemies hard. <clears throat> so this is basically like the... Uh, the Mallow and Bowser attack, but this one's physical based.
as you can see, this guy, which is normally pretty tanky, he was able to take the damage with no issue. But he's, like, weaker to, like, magic attacks anyway. But yeah, I think we've actually seen all the uh, triple moves now, so... I don't really need to show them off anymore, and if we ever get, like, a 100%, we can just switch to one of the good ones, if we ever see fit. Uh, but Peach is actually leveled up again. She is at level 11, and she has learned Sleepy Time, a new move for her. Um, let's go ahead and use Magic. We're probably going to pick Magic for her, all of her levels that are HP. And with that, we can start checking out the uh, password rooms here. So for this first room, we have to guide this Koopa into the cannonball to knock it on the switch. We'll get a healing mushroom and the password hint. The Adventurer's Indigo's... The Adventurer Indigo's Memo. There is an S in the word. <clears throat> okay, so that's good information. Next up, we have a little trampoline puzzle. You have to stop all the trampolines in the right locations. Okay, that was a little too close to the side. That might be good. Hell yeah. There we go. So you get a flower for this one. The Adventure Indigo Junior's Meme. Or Memo, not Meme. It is found on the bed of the ocean. You can actually skip through these guys. You don't actually have to fight them. So here we have a 3D maze. This is probably the most annoying of the puzzles. Because you have to kind of just like... Feel your way around the maze. You have to like kind of move around and jump around. I know a lot of people don't really like this. And I can understand why. It's really not that... You know, obvious. I kind of just know how to do it based on my years of experience playing this game. The second Expedition Team's Memo. It has two vowels. <clears throat> okay, so basically... What you want to do is you want to move kind of... Forward here. Till you get to the back. Then you want to move to the back while jumping. Then you want to jump down a little bit. That'll put you up on the second level. Then you go here to this side... Go around this angle, fall down, and then you just want to kind of like just jump up and towards like the top and right. And eventually you get here. It's it's not very like obvious because again, you can't see exactly what you're doing anyway. But it's weird that they didn't change this because I always thought that was just a very weird and random puzzle. But nonetheless, we got through it. <clears throat> okay. Um, we have a chest of just coins right here. You honestly may not feel like this is worth it. But we'll go ahead and do it just for fun, I guess. Um, I'll even switch back to Mallow just to have an easy Thunderbolt we can use. See, this way, if we don't get all the coins, we can at least, you know, fight an easy fight again. Okay, Bowser, uh, magic. We're not going to give you magic because you don't really need magic. So we're going to give you some more power. Physical power. Okay, there we go. And you can talk to this guy for another, uh, for another hint. But also, um, he acts as another shop you can use. He basically sells the same stuff that he sold in the sea. So if you need anything like this, feel free to go ahead and buy it here. But that's really all that he does. I'll give you a hint. The password's got something to do with the sea. 
And if you don't get through all six of the obstacles, you can try to deduce your way through. Good luck. Yeah, we, we've almost gotten all of the hints, so... Shouldn't take that much longer. Uh, for this one, you have to follow the trail of coins without grabbing the first coin until the path is done. <clears throat> and there we go. The search party Onyx's memo. It is very valuable. I think that's actually actually like a new hint. I don't think the original one had that hint. And like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that's a very good hint, honestly. And for this one, all I have to do is just hit the cannonballs. The fourth investigation cruise memo. It is actually a they. Which basically means it's plural, pretty much. And there we go. That's actually... Well, that's not all the hints. There's one more. And you can get that one by doing this little puzzle right here. Knock the barrel down. And then jump backwards on the... Or jump on the uh, edge of the barrel to get it to roll onto the switch. And then touch the other one. The Treasure Hunter Elon's Memo. The R comes before the L. And that's actually all the hints. But uh, we're actually pretty far in the video. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. But uh, next time we'll uh, figure out the password. And push our way through the more of the sunken pirate ship. This has been Slim Kirby. See you guys next time. Later folks.